This is why you gotta watch the video on YouTube or Spotify so you can so see. So this is how I saw the lasers. <laughs> is that like a, a blue lens on there? It's got blue on it. Oh okay. <laughs> yeah, close enough. But you put it over the blue suit or under the blue suit, it's fine. Oh okay. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. That's smart. That's smart. I never thought of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm an engineer. Yeah. It's just crazy how we've gone from like space full... U. The U is blue. <laughs> it's. It's just crazy how we've gone from like full metal, like night armor, to like morph a suits. blue morph suit. <laughs> you are tuning in to the Cigar Guys podcast, where aficionados and newcomers alike gather to explore the vast cigar universe. Meet your host, Alexander Gonzalez, Mark Nikolai, his big little brother, Zachary Nikolai, and Jared Burroughs. So sit back, light up, and let's get the conversation started. Look at you all cozy. All right, guys, after an hour and a half of technical difficulties due to Jared's incompetence. We, <laughs> we are finally back for another episode. I didn't buy a bad iPhone cable. <laughs> from what? From Wish? Where would you buy it from? Timu. Timu. It was Amazon. Oh, Timu. <laughs> but, um, okay, we're here early in the morning. Uh, we flew out to beautiful country of Albania here at the one of the many Nikolai residences. Mansions. Yes. To be more specific, mansions. Um, Estates. Turkish coffee. Albanian coffee, as they call it here, because we're in Albania. And what better cigar to smoke at this very moment than... The base of cigar. Yeah. Which you're not smoking. Yeah, where's yours? There's all, so the whole point of this episode actually was to have a bunch know, of different... I know, pick out your best breakfast cigar. Not the best one, just different ones. Because you guys are smoking the best one. If I'm being honest, but I had to be different. I had to, you know, show something different. So since I'm the outlier, Perdomo Vintage 12 Year, Connecticut. That's what I'm smoking. Great breakfast, sick. Not the best, but a great one. You know, there's like meal replacement plans. Sometimes I just smoke base and have a coffee in the morning. <laughs> That's your meal replacement. Yeah. Well, you get your your daily nut intake. No pun intended. You know, from the hazelnut. Wow, that was... And then he gets some cocoa halfway a, through. This is a family-oriented <laughs> show here. It's really not. It's not. Please no if puns. You're, if, you're, if you're under 18, don't watch this. Let your kids watch this. Newborns. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that should be okay, because, like, they're not going to remember anything, you know, under the age of three years old anyway, so... Isn't that why your mom blames you for smoking cigars? You were around, like, uh... Yeah, she blames my... Uh, her step-grandfather, because he smokes cigars. And that's the reason why I smoke cigars, which I think is total BS. What do you think? You were around it when you were a baby and you, you were intaking that nicotine? Mm. That nicotine? Nic nicotine? Nicotine? That, that nicotine, so you were subconsciously, you were getting addicted. Well, so we just learned that, like, there's nicotine in certain vegetables, too, so. That's why I'm addicted to those. <laughs> I mean, I, I blame my dad for smoking cigars, because he smoked around me my whole life, you know. <laughs> What was I going to say? Okay, so... My, my dad is also on the scene. He's over there, you know, playing his games. So, I want to start by asking a question that we got this morning. I'm going to ask the question as it was given. And then later on, we're going to come back to it, share some more details and discuss it. The question is, what is a more appropriate item to eat for breakfast? <laughs> you Option know, one. You know, you, he just sneezed, you know, in Albanian tradition. That means whatever you're about to say is true. Well, it's a question. That's a so question. I yeah, uh, I don't know how that works uh, out. Oh, I thought you were about to give an answer. No, we're asking the question. We're going to come back to it at the end. So the question is, what is a better option for breakfast? Option one. What, no, what, what's more normal? That was the question. Okay. Well, I guess the question as asked was, what is a weirder thing to eat for breakfast? There we go. So what of these two is weirder? Pizza and sliders or Reese's Pieces? I'm going to leave you to that. Leave a comment if you're watching on YouTube. If you're on Spotify, uh, vote in the poll. We'll come back to this later. But <clears throat> we're talking about 
some of the best cigars that you could smoke in the morning. And it's still morning right now, so we're going to talk about that. Um, I mean, Besa, of course, is a yeah. good morning stick. It's a good start stick for, you know, <clears throat> any time of day, in my opinion. But um, if you want a good light stick in the morning, you know, and you have access to them, you could smoke a Cuban cigar. Cubans are mm. great morning sticks just because uh, they're light body, they're real smooth, they go good with coffee. Mm. To drier stick, you know, you're keeping it about 65%. Um, but yeah, that's. I would say uh, Macanudo White Series. Mm. It's $22, yeah. but I mean. Well, let's mind. not get too ahead of ourselves. Of the Cuban cigars, which one would be your go to to smoke in the morning? You're going to say Cohiba? I'm, uh, I'm kind of like a. Uh, you going to say Cohiba? Yeah. <laughs> No, like a Monte Cristo number four or something, you know, I don't know. Number four. Mm, yeah. A little quick one. Yeah, yeah. You know, because you have it with a coffee, just enough time to drink your coffee, smoke the stick, get your day going. Because you don't want to be stuck too much in the morning, you know. That's true. Doing nothing. Mark? Wake up. I've been pondering on this. <laughs> For the last three <laughs> seconds. Don't say curly head. And I have to say. Cuban. We're talking Cuban. Oh, Cuban? Right now, just Cuban oh. for the morning. Oh, oh. Probably like a Monte Cristo number two. <laughs> <laughs> Jared? Uh, I'm probably a Monte de la Hoya or whatever. Cuban cigar I had a long time ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The um, Hoyo de Monte. That one? Something like that, yeah. Did you give the it sounds number right. two Epicure? I, I believe so. I'm just reading your mind. I think for me personally... I would say the same brand, but the series, the Hoyo, is, in my opinion, a little better than the Epicure number two. So, as Zach said, Cuban cigars, most of them are on the more mild to medium side and pair very well with the coffee as we're I mean, right even now. like strong Cuban cigars I've had, um, <clears throat> like they're not that strong compared to like New World cigars. No. No. But they, um, all the Cubans are, first of all, it's backwards from the same region. And they're all, you know, aged and cured in the same facilities, basically. So they all have a the same level of, uh, what would you call it? Like, no. they're consistent, right? Yeah. They're all going to be pretty much consistent. So compared to a lot of the other cigars, like New World cigars, they're going to be all over the board. Are you talking about strength-wise? Just quality strength consistency just in general mm. because it's basically one company versus the rest of them you could when you compare cuban cigars it's basically one entity that's producing all of them you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so yeah there's that conversation but since everyone's talking about or everyone's smoking the base right now let's dive into that why is that a great morning cigar we touched on it a little bit. Uh, just a good light smoke. Um, it's not light. It's a medium body. But it's not overpowering. It goes great with a coffee. Pretty smooth, I would say. Very smooth. Hmm. Interesting. You got the hazelnut to work in with your coffee. Mm. Got the cocoa. You got the cocoa to work in with your coffee. The espresso. To work in with your coffee. Exactly. You guys need to wake up. I'm awake. Jared's one asking ChatGPT for questions. No, I'm trying to find that one Cuban cigar I really like. I just told you what it was. I just, I'm not sure if it's the exact one. It literally is. You can find it later, and I promise you it's the same one. I'm, I'm with Alex on this. I'm pretty sure it's the one he's talking about. What are you, are you looking at your pictures? Why couldn't you just search it? Hey, you know, iPhones, you could search for cigars, what? and then it would just pop up every cigar you ever took a picture of. Or who's you that, could search like who's that you know, naked midget in there? Oyo de Monterey. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You almost got me there. <laughs> I almost believed it. I would say another great morning smoke is the Charter Oak. It's a good cheap seven dollar stick. The Connecticut one? Yeah. I was gonna say if we're gonna talk about overall, like what's a safe one for the morning, generally Connecticut's are because they're generally more light body for sure for sure 
which is what I'm smoking right now, this Perdomo Vintage 12 year, become one of my favorites for like morning, midday. Lighter body, it's got like some Cuban-esque kind of flavors to it, in my opinion. So that's been one of my go-tos. And they're really cheap too. This one was like 12 bucks for a... I think it's about average price now. I'd, yeah, I guess so. Now that's average, yeah. But for the quality of what you're getting, it's really good. Yeah, I remember you were a Perdomo hater. I wasn't a hater. I just didn't see them as... Can we, can we do a clip back of... Uh, you saying Actually, they're not we, valid? Just, we, we just posted that on TikTok a couple weeks ago, because that was like a year ago. Um, and but we Yeah, so we were talking about the brand overall. Whether the brand overall was valid or not valid. And I kind of stand by that statement only because they still only have like one cigar that I truly do enjoy, which is this one. We should we should redo that episode. I think we should put some new brands in there. More boutique. More boutique. Yeah, we can definitely do that. We could do that. We gotta do it with the Maduro release. Mm. Smoke Maduro's on there. Funny, I just got an email about that the other day. <laughs> oh, the base. Are they doing something? Oh, how to look? It's really good. Who, who made it this time? I think it's a mixture. It's got like a collab effort. Nick really started it. I refined it, and then I finished it. And then Alex finished it. Yeah. What is this? It's because <laughs> it's a B. You know, what Zach's a great. It's just a B. It's, it's a an B. Albanian B. Yeah. Zach is a great opener, just in any in any scenario. But he needs help closing. That's where I come in. In any scenario? Zach, Zach is great with the first initial line, and then after that he needs help. <laughs> <laughs> it's all downhill from there. So are you saying Alex helps Zach finish? <laughs> Every night. <laughs> Whoa. If he doesn't, it's a bad night for Zach. <laughs> That's why he can sleep. I call him up halfway through. I'm like, Alex, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> Is there water in there? I keep hearing hissing. Yeah, I think there's a little leftover. Nice. When I rinse it out. Let me finish this coffee. So, tell us about what we're drinking, Zach. Because most people actually don't know what this is. <sighs> so, we are drinking Turkish coffee or Albanian coffee. You know, that's what Albanians call it. But there's a small Italian uh, roaster of coffee in the Bronx, right? That makes them exactly how Albanians like it, right? The perfect, the blend of coffee, the uh, the grind of it on how it cooks in Turkish coffee. So we only get our coffee from them. So yeah. anytime we go up there, buy a bunch, bring it down here, you know. Actually, yeah. I just found out that the fresh market, you can mix like whatever beans you want and grind it up how fine you want it. Mm, really? Yeah, but what, what beans and what mix are you? you yeah, know? you gotta play around with it a little bit, but yeah. If I knew, I'd go to them. But nah, nah, it's it, it's an Italian family that owns it. They're super cool people. I remember going there, and you know, my uncle Mike brought back a backpack full of coffee, and we got stopped in TSA. And we're like, "What the hell is this?" And it was packed up like bricks, you know, <laughs> 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 cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> it's coffee. But yeah, so they do the knife trick. They stab it. They're like, yeah. I, yeah, it's coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't tell by the color. It's so similar. I tried making it this morning. Then my mom yelled at me. I was doing it wrong. So uh, that's why it's better. Yeah. So then she made it. Um, thankfully, because yeah, she makes it the best. The first thing Jared said was like, "Oh, it's better than last time." <laughs> I'm oh. saying it's really good. I put mine too. Yeah, I, I, my mom made it. Made it. That's why. Made it. No, my mom made it. That's why it's really good. Yeah. Even my dad. My dad only drinks coffee. My mom makes. <clears throat> yeah, you can't. He doesn't have his. Yeah, have his. Uh, Hearing aids in. Ah, uh, rip. Probably for the best. <laughs> deniability, you know what I mean? Plausible deniability. Until he watches the episode. But if he's anything like Marco Zack, he won't. <laughs> Every great artist doesn't listen to the music. Just want to put that up. I don't think that's necessarily true. You gotta listen to it. Yeah, listen to it while you're producing it, at least. You know, well, like, yeah, I mean, yeah, you listen back to Final it, product at know. least once, you know, like, okay, that was that was epic. No, you listen On to the, the final one. product before you release it. Once you release it, you don't want to listen to it again because it's like, you know, what if you find a mistake? 
you know, that he hears, but no one else hears. Right. Make sure you don't make that mistake again. It's true. Someone will call you out for it. I don't make mistakes. I have people that don't make mistakes. They talk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's, that's a compliment. I'll take it. Some of us make mistakes. Jared. So, Jared, you did. <laughs> you, you like this coffee better than mine? Um, it's okay, because I tell them the same thing. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll stick with the original answer. That's pretty messed up that you even thought that, that way. Actually, I just haven't had anything to eat or drink. You know what I think no it is? Coffee. You know what I think it is? These cups were actually made in Kosovo. Mm. And they were brought over. But the cups I gave you guys last time were not. You have the same thing? No, the cups were different last time. Same it style. It does depend on the glassware. Yeah, you know, like sometimes yeah. you drink water out of a plastic cup. It doesn't hit as We good also as, like, drank glass. it a little bit colder. Because we took three hours to set up this time. So maybe that's one of the factors. Mm, you got more flavor. I like it hotter. Well, yeah, but you taste more flavor when it's like room temperature. You poured half yours out. Uh, I flipped it too early. Might have more coffee. That's why most people like coffee either hot or cold. Because if you drink it like room temperature, you're actually getting more flavor. And a lot of people actually don't like how coffee tastes. And that brings us back to our morning breakfast squish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You've had time to comment. Think about this really intense question, which I feel like is the obvious answer. Um, what is more weird actually well, i love jared answer this first what do you think is more weird to eat reese's pieces for morning. breakfast oh, yeah. yeah okay i said the same thing i'll eat pizza in the morning yeah i, mean, that, I feel like that's yeah. normal I feel, I feel like like it's very common for you to eat pizza in the morning especially like leftover pizza yeah yeah exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I eat that cold yeah so, yeah I mean, mark brought up a good point 7-eleven's got breakfast pizza yeah and they have breakfast sliders like you go to some breakfast place they have breakfast sliders yeah og giovanni's sometimes they had breakfast pizza. Oh, we would make breakfast pizza. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or, so, and then sliders was part of the yeah. part of that option. I will say though, right? On the Reese's Pieces thing, cereal nowadays is like ninety mm. percent sugar. True. So it's like, what's the difference? Well, I don't eat cereal. I don't eat cereal. I don't eat cereal either, but <clears throat> I'm saying for the people that do. That is true. So well then we the person that asked this question decided to leave out information. They actually had a donut and Reese's Pieces for breakfast, which is definitely less weird. The donut part is less weird. Right. So I was like, okay, you ate something, and then... Like, Maybe the Reese's Pieces were on top of the donut. That's a good question, too, were they? Can we pull this person's profile picture? <laughs> we'll put them right here, okay? <laughs> so I, I was like, if you had told us this initially, it would have been more of a debate. But the fact that you were like, I eat M&M's for breakfast... Is I was just like, all right, you're automatically invalid. Yeah, we love him, but you know he tends to leave out a lot of information. Right, always. and, this, and this time yeah. it would have helped him. Yeah, always does. Yeah, because you could get donuts or Reese's pieces on them. You know, you could get damn, damn. Okay. Bro, we just pressure wash this thing. Yeah, we are. <laughs> so you get donuts with Reese's pieces on. You get donuts with bacon on it. You know, if you want, you get donuts with uh, with pizza on it. You know. Well, because now the question is, okay. What's more weird to eat for breakfast? Pizza, sliders, or donuts? And now it's like, okay, you could argue that eating pizza for breakfast is more weird than a donut because a donut's more of a traditional breakfast item. I don't think either is weird. I think a donut's more... More like... Accepted? Yeah. That's what I'm saying, yeah. It's not weird, but it's like, okay... Me, me personally, though, like... I really eat pizza, though, than a donut. No, me too. Like, like if it was like a leftover meat lover's pizza in the fridge, yeah, I take that over a donut. I would too. I just think because like the donut Reese's Pieces option, it doesn't sound as like like it. The pizza and sliders would be more fuel to start my day. Well, see, that's a, like, that's the thing. Like, and you know, we're we're in Kosovo right now, right, amongst Albanians, but in America, it's a lot more sweet stuff. You have like donuts. You have uh, sugary cereals, yeah, whatever. Versus, like in Europe, it's like just a smaller meal. You're having yeah. a full meal that you would have for dinner. You know, oftentimes it's just whatever you had for dinner. Uh, again, again, yeah. but for breakfast, but it was just smaller. You know, plus you add some more stuff on there. You know, yeah. maybe some eggs or something. But there we go. Yeah. Eggs and pizza. <laughs> I don't think they eat pizza a lot over there. <laughs> maybe in Italy. I was watching this show last night, 
and the guy they were lighting up a cigar on the show, and oh. this guy had him in a real cigar. You can always tell like when there's a real cigar smoker. Yeah, because they actually take the time to towards the bottom. That's why I love oh, seeing instant, a cigar scene. Lights. Yeah. yeah, I see a cigar scene in a movie, and yeah, like you said, you know if anyone on set knows what they're doing or not. Because if they had one cigar smoker on there, they'd be like, uh, can we actually like do it this way instead? Yeah. yeah what yeah. movie was it? Ah, uh, it was a TV. Sh- it was a yeah. show. It was um. Was on Disney Channel? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what it. I forgot what it. So called. real quick, I will say, uh, in the Gentleman uh, TV show, yeah. he goes, "Oh, would you like to join me for a cigar?" And then they go outside. He lights it. They talk for like a minute, and then she leaves. So I'm like, "Is he gonna stand out there by himself and finish it?" <laughs> <laughs> but I do remember one movie. It was one of the Superman movies, and Lex Luthor cuts a cigar, and he cuts like. Almost an inch off. I, I remember that actually. Yeah. I've seen that. And you're just watching it like, bruh. <laughs> no, this it was a show. It's about this like news anchor lady, and then like this other, there's like this brand new girl, and she's trying to like, anchor man one. She's trying to take her spot. But in part of it, one of the guys is like, "Lady," and he cuts a cigar perfect, and he torches the bottom, and he's like, he's straight. He's 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 a cigar smoker. Oh, so he he actually did. It right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think um, in John Wick, I don't know if it was the first one or the second one. But the the villain, I forget his name. He was smoking it, and he had an ash on there. Dang. And I was like, okay, yeah. that's a good sign. But I think if you have a cigar in a movie, you gotta have someone like on the set that knows what they're actually doing. You gotta have a pre ash guy to pre ash it for you, then they hand it to you, so it's real. Yeah. Oh yeah, you have a guy smoking for ten minutes and then pass it like off. The, it would keep getting like the ash would keep getting bigger. Every take, you have to redo every single time. I think in that movie too, you could tell. Like, I think it went back and forth because they were doing it like uh, so yeah, up and down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I've seen that a few times where you know with cigars or even for other stuff um, where minor things will just keep going back and forth mm-hmm. like that because yeah, they reshot it a bunch of times yeah. or whatever, well, and I then think they it, use old shoots. So in most cases, you're not actually supposed to eat or drink because of that reason. Yeah, yeah. It's like if you're drinking, for example. The level of the drink might go up and down if you're using multiple different scenes or multiple different cuts. So you're not really supposed to drink or eat or anything like what that. What if it was like McCallum? Oh, I think 18. that's what it was in. I think it was in the casino. I was watching the casino or casino. That's not the in there. But anyway, and uh, yeah, they were. There was a scene where they're like they're sitting down, like drinking, smoking, whatever, and the level just kept going up and down. Mm-hmm. What are you saying? No, I was making a joke about, you know, if I was on a movie set, someone put me count 18, and they're like, don't drink it yet. <laughs> <laughs> don't drink it yet. I'm be like, okay. Jared would be like, he's like, no, 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 I'll just drink the whole three ounces, and then you could refill it. You know, <laughs> before the, before the next take, it would make yeah, sense. Yeah. Well, someone made a TikTok, it was like them shooting um, the Casino Royale movie, like if they used real liquor, and he's like, you know, he takes a sip, and he's like, cut, and then they do like 10 scenes, and by the end, he's like, you know, he's like drunk and slurring <laughs> his words and stuff. <laughs> so, if you're shooting a movie, don't actually eat or drink anything. I actually think uh, even in the bottles, they don't put like real liquor in them. Yeah, of course not. No. Yeah, I, yeah, I doubt it. Just like when they're smoking cigarettes in shows, it's like a herbal cigarette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like you can like inhale it and then, like it's not bad for you. Yeah. Yeah, they use like rosemary and. Well, even then, yeah. you know, you smoke enough. What was that one? One of the actors. Oh, it was in a. Uh, um, uh, what, the Peaky, Peaky Blinders? Blinders? Yeah, Peaky Blinders. Mm. He smoked so much that, like, he was having trouble. You know, just because every scene he had to keep lighting one up because that was his character. And yeah. how many seasons was Peaky Blinders? Well, I think you have the option, Five. too. Like, you could smoke a real cigarette. I was smoking a real one. Yeah. Huh? Uh, was Cillian Murphy? Yeah. Main yeah, the main guy, yeah, main guy, yeah. That was him that had an issue? He smoked a lot in that But show. I, think, I think he was smoking real ones at first. Yeah. And then he switched to the herbal stuff to try to make it lighter, but he's like, it wasn't lighter. <laughs> Yeah, cause especially if you're inhaling it, like you're still inhaling stuff into your lungs. Yeah, yeah. It's not going to be like you know, the tobacco and you, you whatever he, chemicals they might be using. Do you think he finished every cigarette, or like he put it out after the take? I'm I'm sure he put him out like if the scene was over, like if he smoked halfway through. I'm sure he put it out. Yeah, odds are though, it's so back and forth that uh, you know, he's gonna have one lit no matter what. Yeah, I'm sure that um. I don't even know what I was gonna say. Oh, you getting it, hungry? It, well, for those scenes, need some pizza. Yeah, right. For those scenes, 
it would be best to sh- do it all in one take for that reason. Yeah. So, it, you know, you don't have that whole issue of the c- cigarette going, like, up and down. Yeah. A so cigarette is more uh, acceptable for that to happen because, yeah. you know, you, you smoke it within five minutes. You know, so it's like, it's oh, they just lit up another one, yeah. you know, whatever. Um, versus a cigar where it's like, you know, a scene took, the scene was five minutes, right? The conversation they had was five minutes. And then they went through a whole stick. You know? We should do this film, our own movie scene where the cigar gets longer as we're smoking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 actually we should. We should do like a scene for like a mob movie or something. And then chop it up and see if anyone notices. Yeah, we'll record everything backwards, and we'll do it with, like, a Woody, too, so it's, like, it's obviously noticeable. Well, all you have to do is, like, record the same scene, like, three times, but you put the the third scene in the beginning, mm-hmm. like, those clips, and then you take the first one and put it in, towards the end. Exactly. We should do that. I think it'd be funny. Yeah. We need a, we need to pitch a Skanderbeg movie to a big studio and have them smoke, like, the basic cigar in it. Mm. Facts. They should remake a documentary about him. And then we can like donate Scanderbeg cigars. Yeah, it'd be sick. But would, would it be kind of weird if him smoking a cigar with his face on it? We need. Well, it wouldn't be Scanderbeg smoking. <laughs> <laughs> what, we, what we need to do is get Drake to reshoot that scene. Him smoking base of cigars in there. True. For real. I'm gonna DM him. Do we ever <laughs> figure out why that whole like music video was about Albanians? That oh, song was about an Albanian girl. That broke his heart. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. yeah. I think you did tell me that. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Albanian woman, bro. bro. Some girl from Pristina, bro. Broke his heart. <laughs> shout out Kosovo. Shout out, hey, shout out Kosovo, these Albanians. Yeah, got Serbians mad with that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I was looking at um. the, I think it was the Department of State. Where, you know where they show all the places that you can travel to and they give you like a level one through yeah, four yeah, yeah. dude every every major country right now is like at least level two yeah. because of terrorism yeah what are we yeah. it doesn't show what we are on that website you have to probably in, go to yeah. like yeah yeah I, i'm sure you could go to like the uk's equivalent and they might have it on there yeah oh some current events you guys saw those uh iran attacking israel what current events we can't talk about current events in this episode why because this is going in the backlog Oh, okay. Well, when, when you get whenever you guys see this, you guys have that. <laughs> <laughs> remember a while ago. That that is crazy though. Yeah, it was all political though. I mean, they gave them so much advance notice. It was just for them, so not get their like proxy armies mad, you know. Well, too like, I will say this is kind of surprising, but Biden said like he told Israel not to respond to that attack. The, the whole thing was for show. Yeah. I mean, they give. Israel. They've been talking about this for a while. Yeah, I mean, who should go out and says like, "We're gonna strike them in this time"? <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, you're exactly right. So they did they end up striking them? They sent. It was like the the largest drone attack in history. Bro, that's all right. Now they got the iron beam over there now. Yeah, the iron. Oh, they have the iron beam out there. No, well, they have the iron dome for sure. There's video footage that like went on Twitter and stuff that was just like, you know. These missiles were being shot at Israel, and then they were just suddenly blowing up with no, like, no defense missile attacking them. So they're like, oh, they're testing out the iron beam. <laughs> well, they already had that. Like, the, the lasers, you can't see them. And then they also have remote detonation with hacking. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. But isn't, I think the iron beam is like, uh, it's not as fast. Like, and it, but it's probably not the response, response have you mean? Or? Yeah. You probably have multiple. And it's uh, it's actually more expensive than just shooting a missile out. So why would it not be as responsive? Because it's got to take time. It hits it, and it's got to take time to charge up again. And it hits it. Oh, okay. It's not like a continuous laser that they just... <laughs> you know? That's what it should be. That's what it should be, right? So it's just like a one-shot kind of thing as opposed to like continuous. Yeah. So they got that, but they don't think the stuff in Hawaii is real? <laughs> are you, when are you going to paint your roof blue, by the way? <laughs> Mark's got that blue helmet in his truck. And, like, who wants a blue roof? Like, it's ugly, you know? There's only one reason you're doing it. <laughs> Mark's got a blue UN helmet in his truck. I saw it myself. Just the case, bro. Starts catching on fire. I throw it on. <laughs> Your truck is screwed, though. 
So they like, go around you in the truck, you're just sitting in your seat. <laughs> 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 we like, see Mark sitting in the middle of the road, still holding a steering wheel. I can't move. <laughs> I, I can't move. He's got, else he's got a like blue steering wheel cover. Yeah, everything else just vanished. I'm just like, you just see a video of me and Ohio with a blue morph suit on, <laughs> <laughs> just walking around like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Every house was destroyed except for this one man. <laughs> you know, he's like, I was like, I was just trying to get in my house, and then it was just gone. <laughs> Oh, this I always wear this. <laughs> I was auditioning for the Blue Man Group. <laughs> you, just, you just see me like shining bright. They're trying to play all the lasers at me. <laughs> Get this fucking guy. <laughs> I went to audition for the Blue Man Group. Everyone that auditioned was okay, but the guys that were hosting the audition mm. were screwed. Where's those glasses? I don't know. Where'd you put them? What glasses? He's got the freaking solar eclipse glasses. <laughs> Wait, the camera might turn off. Nah, it's fine. No, good. Boom, boom. Where'd you put it? In the front part of the bag. This is why you gotta watch the video on YouTube or Spotify. So you can so see. So this is how I saw the lasers. <laughs> Is that like a, a blue lens on there? It's got blue on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, close enough. But you put it over the blue suit, or under the blue suit, it's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's true, yeah. That's smart. That's smart, I never thought of that. Yeah, yeah, I'm an engineer. Yeah. It's just crazy how we've gone from like... Space full... U, the U is blue. <laughs> it's... it's just crazy how we've gone from like full metal, like night armor, to like morph a suits. blue morph suit. <laughs> <laughs> Full protection, but it's 100% lighter. 30 years from now, we're going to see, like, every military jet, every, like, military complex just be painted blue. All the tanks are blue. Yeah. Everyone's just going to walk in there with blue suits. No more camouflage. Just straight blue. Hey, yeah. Exactly. Marines knew something with their dress blues, you know. <laughs> For sure. Oh, can you even see anything out of that? I can see everything. I see the truth. <laughs> see the truth. <laughs> like that one movie. Hey, I don't see with these eyes. I see with my third eye. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Did you, you, know, you, you don't actually go outside and see the eclipse or no? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. I didn't. I'm looking at it right now. Mark looks at a billboard and it just says <laughs> obey. <laughs> You should save those for it's for 20 years. Yeah, the next time America has one. Yeah, we can but, just travel to like wherever the next eclipse is going to be. True. But uh, the, the next one in 20 years is going to go right over uh, Florida. Mm. So we'll be in it this time? Yeah, for once. That's going to suck because everyone's going to come to Florida. Yeah, Florida always makes their way into everything, bro. <laughs> I don't know what they do. We missed out on all the tourist revenue, but 20 years from now, we got it. We're like, hey. They pre-order the next one. We need to get some Airbnbs. Yeah, I mean, they delayed this one, so I figured might as well afford it to get the next one. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta get some Airbnbs. Just for 20 years from now? Yeah, exactly. We'll, we'll make like a rooftop balcony and be like, watch the clips from your Airbnb. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, you guys don't have anything booked for the next 20 years. Nah, it's okay. We'll make our money back. <laughs> Oh, you want a room? Ten thousand dollars. <laughs> I would. I wonder what the prices were like for that last eclipse. I don't know. I wonder if do, I wonder if people, a lot of people actually traveled to see it. I think they did. Really? Yeah. Did you see uh, SpaceX posted a video of what the eclipse looked like from space? No. Nah. Yeah, it was just like a black dot just traveling. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. Bro, the eclipse was moving while it was moving intercepting each other so how come you can't see the moon like going up to it what do you mean like you know sometimes in the morning you'll see the sun and the moon yeah so how come you don't see the moon like going up to it you know what i'm saying can you draw that on canva the sun is too bright uh, can i draw an eclipse in canva like because this the moon gets its light from the sun so there was no like reflection going on so it's like if, it. if you have a bright light shining at you you can't see anything around it because the light is so bright yeah oh true it's like overpowering what you can see. Yeah. 
Interesting. True. Or, <laughs> as everyone on TikTok says. Well, they postponed it, right? So, like, they had to shut it off mm. for, like, an hour or two to get it good, you know? So they called mm. Cern and like, hey, whoa, 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 24 hours, 24 hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I-, I wonder what animals think. Because, you know, animals, like, kind of freak out during it. Supposedly, animals know not to look at it. Oh, really? Like, well, they, they already don't look at the sun. Yeah. You know? So, only, only we do, you know. I did see a video, though, like, so it was a uh, camera of someone's, like, backyard. And the dog, it got dark outside. And the dog went inside and, like, went to sleep. And then, like, five minutes later, the sun came back out. And he's like, oh, okay. And went back outside. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was quick. He's like, damn, bedtime already? <laughs> but, yeah, supposedly animals already know, like, not to look at the sun. That's crazy. Who told him that? I think they just learned. You think animals, some animals, like, need glasses? Well, animals go oh, blind. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, animals go blind, yeah. At the Have you zoo, never seen a dog that goes blind, like, as he gets older? At the Sanford Zoo, there's a tortoise in there that's blind. And it's in with some birds. And if the tortoise, like, accidentally goes into the bird's territory, the birds will, like, peck them. Just keep pecking them. <laughs> and the tortoise, like, I feel bad. The tortoise, like, like, you know, tries to get out of the way, but he can't see. <laughs> like, What's going on? How old is he, though? The tortoise? Like, 60? Uh, it's old. I don't know. 500 years old? We used to have a tortoise in our neighborhood. What did you do it? I don't know. It ran away. I think Animal Control got it, actually. It was right. like a big tortoise. It was like it was, it was big. It was big. It was probably like 70, 80 pounds. Yeah, I wonder was... how old it was. Probably yeah. old. Well, he was still moving around a lot. You know, he's traveling, so it was probably like 20, 30s, you know. He's, he's in his... His young boy? Yeah, 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 you know. That boy was moving. You know, he hasn't, he hasn't you know, bought a house yet or anything, so it's like... <laughs> He's a mobile home. He's so. just traveling the world. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think they really need to buy a house. So you think they like relocated him? You know, probably just picked him up and he's like, "Oh, great." They probably put Moving him in again. the zoo. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe that same tortoise that you guys had in your neighborhood is at the zoo now. Maybe. I was wondering why he looked familiar. You couldn't say the same about you though. No, because he was blind. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Buff. It's a beautiful day out today. It feels great out. It does. Yeah. It's a great morning smoke day. It's a great time to get a big smash burger with an egg on it. Film round two. It's true. Or three, actually. You guys see the last record over there. Grafton? Yeah, at their VIP like patio. We can't smoke it. Oh, yeah. yeah. VIP patio? Yeah, oh, they, they just outside? extended it. That's outside. It'd be cool if we gave the owner on. Because he smokes, doesn't he? Yeah, he goes to... Yeah, I saw my Corona the other day. We can ask. So that's supposed to be VIP? So they have their main patio, and then, yeah, they have a patio on the back side that's like their Crown Alley VIP. Oh, okay. Their Crown Alley patio. <laughs> what would be the topic? Just say... Food. Irish smokes. Are there mm. Irish cigars? Not Candela's again. No. They had the Alec Bradley Shamrock. Ooh, yeah. It's okay. Did, you had it? I've had it before. I think I had it last year. Oh, so it was a different one then. Uh. But yeah. I'm just asking if we can podcast. Smoking cigars. True. Back patio? Yeah, did, did you, yeah, you text him? About to right now. Yeah, text him the back patio. Yeah. The back patio looks cool. They just had a mini bar out there. Yeah, yeah, they should. That's probably the coolest spot on like Mary right now. I like it. I think they did a good job. I wish I could have put a rooftop bar. I think like Mary needs a rooftop bar. Well, they tried, remember? Yeah, I know they tried. Yeah. Yeah, they weren't allowed. I forgot they about that. Grafton. Where? At Grafton. Oh, like, they, okay, I got you. When they were building it out. They Why were... aren't they allowed? Like voted, Mary, yeah. Yeah, voted down or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Probably noise levels. They probably didn't want the noise. This is why we need market in the mayor's office. Facts. They should, um, someone, some rich guy should buy Jack's and make it like a cool place. I just feel like it's like, it's out of the way kind of. Like you can't see it like from the main road. You think about that, but, um, Top Golf gets packed, so. Yeah, but you can see that from freaking five miles away. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like a nice bar on a lake would be like a destination thing. I mean, that's true. Yeah, if you promote it right. Do we really call that a lake, though? Yeah, it's a lake. It's like a pond. 
man-made lake. Yeah, man-made for sure. Yeah. We should go there. You know, one last hurrah. Go get drunk at Jack's. Are they closing down? And close at your place. <laughs> They're not closing down. No. Oh, I... <laughs> I've, only been there, I've only been there once. It used to be the last time we're going. I'm surprised, yeah. I'm surprised they haven't, to be honest with you. Well, every time you got some, new guy, some new guy bought it. Oh. Recently? Uh, I think like five years ago-ish. Oh. All right, let's read this coffee. We got one, two, three, four. Four lines. We got one skinny, one big. Let me see. I kind of know how to read it. Uh, I'm, I'm, all right, I'm going to read it, and then you tell me if it's true. So we got one skinny, one big. Then we got, you know, two, like, medium-sized ones, right? So those are the four cigar guys. Oh. Right, so we got Alex, me, uh, Mark, and Jared, right? And they're walking as a group, and Alex is being left behind. Uh, Why does that mean? Let me uh, see. I, I won't question I'm, I'm telling you. Uh, well, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Uh, because he's been uploading videos, and yeah. internet's been taking a while. Okay. Yeah. But then, right after that, it's a big like glop, and it's we're pushing forward. Pushing right, let, me, through. let me see. Yeah. Here you go. So you're supposed to look for like you got four lines. One looks like a lightning. Can you show us the camera? One looks like a bird. One looks like a seahorse. So the seahorse means you're going to be stationary for a while. And then you're going to have some dramatic event in your life. And then you're going to be flying. That's basically what you said. Yeah. Mine was more detailed. <laughs> he just related it to us. And there's a small line before the horse... So Let's see, Alex. Is, ooh, I don't even want to dig in that hole. <laughs> so the small line represents you. Then it represents how you're gonna be stationary, and then some dramatic events gonna happen, and then you're gonna be flying high, bro. So good for you. Bro, my coffee was straight good. Yeah, that was a lot. This is my fault. Interesting. Interesting. Can you show it to the camera, Zach? Yeah. Let me show, let me show this one. I yeah. probably can't even see it. Which one's Alex again? No, I can see the lines. <laughs> yeah, so, um, if you guys know how to read coffee, let us know because we have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all, all the. We're uh, going to get that one Serbian on there that's just like, means you guys are shit. <laughs> <laughs> the base of stinks. We get him every now and then. <laughs> At DTR N word. That's his real handle. YouTube should probably take that down. Just saying. Take cigar guys down. But these racial slurs are out here, bro. Dude, for real, man. You get rid of them. I finished my cigar. And I didn't bring yeah, a I think we're one. about finished. We made the cutoff, so we're good. All right. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of The Cigar Guys. I hope you enjoyed our morning episode. Uh, we got Alex wearing the PJs. Uh, Jared is still dressed up from last night. Um, he went out, never got changed. Technically, that's his pajamas. Yeah. Um, yeah. See you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this episode of the Cigar Guys podcast. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the latest episodes. Looking for short form content? Check out all our social media accounts in the description below. We're good? Yeah, we're good. Three hours later. I'll show up on time. Maybe we got it done a little earlier. I don't want to hear anything about showing up on time from anyone. It's always the guy that complains about being late. That when he shows up late, I don't want to hear nothing. Well, it's one thing when. It's one thing when. <laughs> Alright, I'm done with you. Alright, ready? Yeah, let's do it. We've been recording this whole time, actually. Okay, cool. <clears throat>